Hi and welcome to tutorial two in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn to program in multi-charts power language. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is creating a simple indicator that plots uh, based on the closing bar of the day, which in, in this case is here the 1300 bar, and uh, it adds to the high of that bar the average true range and draws a line across the following day. It subtracts from the low of that closing bar of the day the average true range and draws another line across the following day. And then just to make it a little more interesting we create an input and we uh, create a multiple of ATRs plus or minus or rather plus the high or minus the low of the closing bar of the day to create these additional magenta and cyan lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that this particular study here or rather I'm just going to remove it completely and uh, we're going to go through and create a new uh, instrument or um, study rather in the Power Language Editor. So we're going to go File, New, Indicator and uh, we're going to call this Tutorial 2. And the first thing we're going to do is we need to know is are we now at a new the first bar of a new day? And the way we do that is we say is date is the date of this bar different, not equal to the date of the previous bar. If that is true, then we know that we're at the first bar of the new day and we can start our calculations. So we're going to start a begin statement and uh, so First of all, the AT, I'm going to call it the ATR high line, and uh, we're going to make that equal to the high of the uh, previous bar, which we now know is the uh, closing bar of the day, plus the average. Now, this is a um, existing function, average true range. You'll see it coming up there. And we, you can also see the um, the way it works. So we're going to double click to select that, and uh, we need to put in an input and uh, let's just call that input ATR length could be any uh, word that's legal in multi charts there and again we want to know what this was the previous bar so we're just going to put one in square brackets there we're going to do the same for the low ATR low line uh, except that's going to be equal to the low of the previous bar minus the average true range and again uh, we're going to put in the same exact synt syntax here so I'm just going to copy and paste that so they are the first two lines so the first thing we need to do and uh, I haven't closed that begin statement I know but uh, we need to create some um, an input and the input is going to be the ATR length and we're going to set that initially to be 10. So I'm just going to put 10 in rounded brackets there. The other thing we need to do is create a couple of variables that we've uh, used so far. And I'm just going to highlight that with my mouse. Control C. I'm just going to set that initially to be 0. And uh, just pressing tab twice there. I'm going to do the same for the ATR low line. Again, that's going to be a variable so there you go and uh, you'll notice the colors changing here as the uh, environment recognizes that they are variables um, I also mentioned we were going to draw some additional lines so what I'm going to do here is just create another input I'm just going to call that edge one I just call that I'm going to set that initially to be two and uh, we're going to create two more um, variable names for these additional lines or rather the value of these additional lines so just to save time I'm just going to copy and paste that I'm just going to give these slightly different names I'm going to call that one call that one okay so we can now calculate what those two lines are so what I'm going to do again is just copy this because the syntax is going to be very similar uh, so that's going to be one that's going to be one and uh, instead of just the average two range, we're going to do a multiplication, edge one times the average two range, 
and uh, it's going to be exactly the same here edge one times average two range so okay now we're calculating the values of all those lines and we do that at the beginning uh, of the first bar of every day so we can end that begin statement let's move that across and now we need to plot those lines so we're going to do this just using simple plot statements so we're going to say plot one and uh, first one I'm going to do is the ATR, ATR high line I'm going to copy that like so I'm going to name it like so and uh, we're going to give it a color I'm going to just call it just make it red and uh, what I'm going to do is just copy this and just change the values in it again just save some time so plot 2 is going to be the average low line see it's helpfully uh, giving us that there and we're going to make this green plot 3 and this is going to be high line 1 and we're going to make that magenta and plot 4 and this is going to be the ATR low line 1 low low line 1 low line 1 and uh, we're going to make that cyan so we have calculated the values and we've done the plots so I can see I'm missing a bracket there I'm just going to put that there and um, what we need to do now is just press F3 and see if it compi compiles correctly you'll notice I turned off the um, the output bar there at the bottom I'm just going to look at that looks fine um, close that again the other thing I'm going to do is just right click on this and select properties and let's make sure these are all set as lines and the particular weights it's going to set that as default okay so we've now created our tutorial 2 program let's go back to multi charts and apply it just selecting my multi charts tab at the bottom I've already got multi charts open and this is a uh, IBM 15 minute chart so I'm going to insert study and we're going to find tutorial 2 which is the one we just created and I'm going to apply that to the chart now you'll notice it's on the subgraph so I'm just going to double click that and go to properties and make it subchart 1 and I'm also just going to make sure that the scaling is the same as the instrument say OK and uh, there you can see the lines applied and let's just make sure it looks reasonable so that's the last bar of the day there and uh, you see the red and the green lines drawn a certain distance from that line um, that line there and uh, obviously if you wanted to double check that you would need to print those values and just uh, just make sure that they were calculating correctly anyway I hope that's uh, useful if you're not part of our email list then please go to chartplex.com that's C-H-A-R-T plex.com and uh, I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. Thank you.